What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. For those of you who are actually new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video. And when you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. All right, we got my man, Beric, my co uh, the co-host up in here of Sports to the Wire. Say what's up to what's the fans. On? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome aboard once again. More information, more sports talk, more laughter. More everything you're looking for from Sports to the Wire. Here we go. Absolutely, go man. Absolutely. All right. So, uh, all right. So, the topic of the day here is: Should the NBA actually have an All Star game? Uh, there's a lot of um, rumblings about it. In a sense, though, where the players don't want to actually do it uh, yeah, for various different reasons. Some feel is the COVID situation. Uh, others feel in terms of the uh, the league actually, you know, well, actually between the Lakers and Miami, those are really uh, the two teams that, actually, that really should have an issue with it. But other than that, uh, Barrett, take us off, man. You did the prep work over here, man. Let's get this, let's get this bad boy rolling, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Because you know, first and foremost, you hit on the nail starting off. You know, LeBron James was the first to speak up. The Aaron Fox spoke up. I don't know why he did speak up, but he did nonetheless. But LeBron. LeBron's words were preserved, man, because obviously they won the world championship in that bubble in Orlando, and they had at least the amount of time to get themselves rested and get their get their, their, their chops rested and get their you know schools tight and things of that nature. So naturally, they were told when the season began that they would not be an All Star game, that they will play seventy two games, not eighty two games. Now you change your mind. Now, the answer to the question is they shouldn't play this because you promised the players knowing that they were going to come off a short offseason, especially with the Lakers and the, Heat, the Miami Heat playing in the NBA Finals last year. You went against it. I'm going to tell you why you went against it. You went against it because the NBA is about their bottom line. I mean, I get tired of talking about the league's bottom line when it comes down to finances. But by doing this All-Star game, let's not make any mistakes on this. You're doing this all-star game to recoup money. Don't tell us you want to do this all-star game because you want to get the, the three-point contest and then the, 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 the dunk contest going. Let's not go all there, man. You're doing this because you want to recoup money. By doing this all-star game, you will be able to recoup money. Now, you have a couple of notable um, uh, places where you can send the money. You know, you got the HBCU and, of course, you got the COVID-19 relief. So you can send money there, but you also need the money to recoup due to the COVID-19 losses that you had during the season. So I get all that, but you promised the NBA Players Association that's led by CP3, you know, CP3, <laughs> you know, you, you sold yourself out to the NBA on that, man. You know, your, your, your duty was to sit back and say, listen, we're not doing this. We're not doing it for obvious reasons. Now in some arenas, some stay. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Chris. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I think the bottom line. I think you're doing it for the fans, man. I was looking at a lot of the ratings in the last couple of weeks, man, and it's not good, man. 1.2 million people watching a lot of these games. Uh, I mean, yo, there's a lot of hoopers in this country, man. I mean, you can go all over this country and you'll see cats playing ball, no matter what race it is. You know, um, it can be Asian, Indian, black, white folk, uh, Spanish folks. I mean, everybody loves the hoop, man. And to actually pull in 1.2 million viewers, uh, 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 a game on average, you know, between 1.2 and 1.5, and you having the WWE actually beating you out, uh, you having Tucker Carlson actually uh, uh, beat you up, beating you out in ratings, uh, something something has to change. You have to somewhat try to get the fans uh, back into this. And I think that's what it's really more about. And these guys, you know, these guys aren't playing hard in the All-Star game. You know, they just, you know, you can go out there and and, 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 and just, you know, just mess around some, and then they start really playing hard in the fourth quarter. Yeah, well, yeah, the, yeah, listen, man, you know, ratings are always important, my brother, but they lost a lot of money. And if you want to talk about ratings, that falls underneath the, the metric when it comes to finances. The, the NBA lost out a lot of money, like any other league has lost out of money. So this is a way to get that money back, you know? You get your ratings back, hopefully, you know, and you get money. You, you recoup a lot of the money you lost due to the COVID-19. Look at this. We knew this last year. We had these shows 
when COVID-19 started, we did these shows, what did we talk about? We talked about the loss of money they were going to have. So you think not doing the All-Star game is not an opportunity to recoup some money for them? I think I think it's just really more about getting the fans uh, engaged. I mean, they get a chance to actually uh, to to vote for their players and stuff like that. You gotta get the fans back. I mean, they ex you know they excommunicated a lot of the fans out, man, by basically saying you don't want the fans in the stands by calling them dirty and saying oh they can give us disease and stuff like that. So you're you're demoralizing the fans from that aspect. So I just think it's about really kind of getting the fans back into this, man, because one one point two million. Uh, uh, a view viewers is horrible, man. I mean, horrible. And this is like, you know, I've been watching the NBA for almost 25 years, man. This is the best in terms of talent that I've, I've ever seen, you know, in terms of skill, talent, um, and to, to actually have 1.2 million viewers, you know, it's not good. So I just think it's like, like I said, you got to try to get the fans back in it somehow. Yeah, but you got to understand something. The NBA didn't lose their fans because they had the inability to, to market their brand. They lost the fans because they decided they weren't going to play. Then they decided to play, and they decided to play in a bubble where all you have is virtual fans and some big screens on the side. You know, that is not the kind of thing. You talked about 25 years of watching the NBA. That's not what you or anyone else is used to seeing. So you will have a lot of disengagement from a lot of the fans. NBA didn't lose their fans because of that. They lost their fans because of COVID-19. Now you, you just say you're not going to have the NBA All-Star game because of covid and you change your mind, decide you're gonna do this. You know, ratings is always important, but, but I'll tell you right now, but money is just as important. And we always talked about the- No, 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 that's what I'm saying. I mean, without 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 the ratings, there's nobody watching. Thus, there's nobody actually, you know, watching into the commercials or anything like that, the advertisers. You know, these networks pay, pay the NBA a lot of money to put these games on, man. So, um, um, this is an actual- TV contracts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. this is actually a real problem right here, man. This is a serious, serious problem. Uh, so like, yeah, no. so yeah, so you so you agree the NBA All Star should happen nonetheless, yeah, even definitely, though, man. because you know, understand some the players got to do this too. Now they got to stop. Remember, this was supposed to be in Indianapolis. They canceled the All Star game in Indianapolis. Now they awarded Indianapolis the 2024 All Star game, and they decided to move it to Atlanta. So they didn't even have a site originally you know that's another problem they have now they had to up in the last minute do this and now they started thinking about including the dunk contest and three-point shooting contest that's not even official yet as of right now all you have is a game hey, that's okay but I, I don't want to hear anything from lebron man you know you don't play hard <laughs> in the first three and a half quarters anyway uh maybe like the like the, la the ne last eight minutes of the game you guys start going at it y'all start playing hard so y'all not really playing hard out there man so give me a break man we do need a competitive all-star game this year and i think maybe that's half the reason why some of these players don't want to play because they know they're gonna have to put up a great show and they're like jesus come on already we gotta do this and do that we gotta watch protocol we gotta check ourselves here and there now you're telling me we gotta do an exhibition game because that's what it is it doesn't count for the standings so it's an exhibition game. They don't do it like they do in MLB. MLB, the All-Star game counts. <laughs> you know, yeah. they count for where the World, the World Series, the World Series is going to be played, etc. The NBA All-Star game does not have any bearing on the standards. It doesn't have any bearing with the NBA Finals we play. This is an exhibition game. So it's like, you, you really wants to do this? He really wants to go full steam ahead on this? Risk possibility yeah, yeah, of injury and things like this? I, I, I think we have to get back to some type of uh, normality in a sense, though, man. We got to get back to normal. Um, man, get the All Star Game back. Get the fans uh, um, going again because this stuff with the woke, with the woke stuff, and 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 uh, with the COVID, and and now Mark Cuban with the na national anthem, which we're gonna get into that a little bit later. Um, it's really turning a lot of the fans off, man. It really is, and you have to get them back somehow, man. Unless these players aren't gonna be getting the the, the money that that they've been used to actually getting, man. You know. It's, it's, the money will be start, you know, it'll start dwindling there, man. Well, I don't right now. That, I, mean, I guess to the naked eye, you would hope so, or you think so. But the contract says what it is. You know, the game checks go to the winner, game check goes to the loser, et cetera, et cetera. But they still didn't want to play this game. So obviously money wasn't an option for most of these players. So, you know, the bottom line is they're going to play the game. Yeah, they're, they're thinking time, about you know? the now. They're not looking at in the future, man. They're not looking at these ratings like I'm looking at. Like I said, 1.5 million 
It's abysmal, abysmal, man. We were supposed to do Maybe. a couple of shows on this, man. We were tired, man. You know, I was actually somewhat embarrassed to actually do these shows, man. It was really embarrassing to actually uh, do a show on the ratings because it really, really saddens me to uh, uh, see the NBA actually sink this low, man. That's, this is really, really bad. Yeah, every league is going through it, bro. It really is. Yeah. Every league is going through it. But, you know, every league has to do their own thing to get themselves, you know, risen out of, out of the abyss, so to speak, the ratings abyss, you know, the financial abyss, which is what the NBA is going through right now. So if they feel like the All-Star game is going to raise the ratings, it's going to raise their funds they lost, then go ahead and do it. Yep. Yep. All right. You know? We're going to wrap this up over here. If you like the video, please comment, subscribe, share it. Share it. Please absolutely. comment. Definitely on this. Yep. Um, yeah, let us know what you actually think, man. Should they have an all-star game or not? Um, sharing is absolute caring. When you share the universe, certainly shares back with you. Thank you. Absolutely. All right.